Now it's been a great harvest season here at the Anderson Experimental Garden. You know, we, we harvested our onions about a week and a half ago, but I'm going to show you the process that I've gone through to get them to where they're at right now. So the onions were, were planted out here in our garden and uh, all the tops started dying down about the 1st of August, which was a little bit too early. I don't like to harvest my onions that early and sometimes you just will have problems through storage if you harvest them a little bit too soon. So they were still alive, they were still growing, but the tops had kind of died down. So I left them until about the end of August. And at that point, we'd had some good weather. It looked like we weren't gonna get rain for a couple days. And so I came out and I took all the onions and I pulled them up and I turned them over so they're almost sitting on their top, but so that the sides and the root system especially was exposed on the bottom. And so I, I exposed that root system of all those onions and turned those over. I mean, look at the size of the onions. They're just beautiful this year. And huge onions. They're going to keep great, but really to get them to store well, we want to turn those onions over and expose that root system. And I left them out in the garden for two days and let the root systems just dry up on those onions. So we want to turn those onions over, expose the root system, and let them dry for a couple days just right out in the garden, right out in the full sun. And as those as those roots dry, they'll become brittle and they'll they'll just crumble in your fingers as you as you touch them after the two days I gathered those all up put them into the wheelbarrow and took them to our barn which is a nice warm dry shady location and uh, we'll take the onions put them in that barn where it's where it's warm and dry and where the Sun doesn't shine on them and we'll spread them out so that they can dry and what's going to happen is we're going to leave them there for probably two or three weeks maybe even four depending on what the weather does and in that time period those onions are going to develop that that hard crusty exterior skin that's it's going to have that nice rich golden color on the the, the yellow onions you know it's going to be white on the white onions but as they develop that hard outer wrapper skin that's what's going to protect the onions during the storage season so as we gather those up put them in the in the wheelbarrow just left the tops right on there and so as the tops dry uh, they're going to they're going to dry up we're going to give them those two or three weeks to to, to kind of prep and and prepare those onions for storage storage. Then towards the end of October, 1st of November, I'll take the onions, I'll trim the tops off, so we'll cut all the tops off the onions. The roots will be all dried and gone. The exterior skin will be nice and, and firm and dry. And then I'll hang them up in some mesh bags in the basement for them to, to store through the winter time. So we want to keep it at about uh, 38 to 45 degrees on the onions, nice and, and, and warm, uh, not warm, sorry, nice and cool and dry and uh, maybe just a little teeny bit of humidity and so not a little not a lot of humidity but we want it to be dry and we want it to be cool in that area we're going to keep those onions and uh, this particular variety is big daddy my white onions are the dulce grande and uh, they're going to keep for four to six months maybe even a little bit longer so it's not unusual for us to be able to keep these onions until february march maybe even until april and enjoy those onions all winter in into the springtime as well too. So great harvest on the onions this year. Very excited about it. And uh, these guys are going to go right back into their storage location so they can get ready for, uh, for prepping them for winter.